neocolonialism? Is it the new Marshall Plan? Is it China centric? Is it excluding other countries? Is it opportunistic? Is it causing unmanageable debts? There are many misconceptions about China's Belt and Road. We sat down with straight talking Professor Wang Yiwei to understand what the initiative is and what it isn't. No. The world now uh, looks to the east uh, because the salt is upon from the west. So we build the factories, we build them and then used by the local people. It's not just uh, to solve China problem, it's solve the, the, the globalization problem itself. And also it's about a new type of the global governance, uh, which is mutual consultation and benefit to all. Chinese uh, Belt Road Initiative is uh, not a foreign assistant, it's an investment. Uh, it's focused on the industrialization of those uh, regions. It's uh, uh, mutual consultative and it's uh, equality. It's not the uh, ideology or geopolitical consideration. So it's totally not a uh, Marshall Plan. It's not uh, uh, one, one country to set the rules for others. If this happens, this rules cannot be sustainable. Or if China, uh, uh, only China benefits or China benefits more, why so many countries, so many international organizations participate? So last May, more than 1,500 participants from 130 uh, countries and international organizations. Half of them volunteered to come. One kilometer of high-speed railway that costs uh, 200 million uh, yuan. Of huge debt for Chinese economy? No. Our economy is uh, growing rapidly. Early stage uh, debts in Chinese side, a long term uh, debts will be uh, no problem anymore in the future. At the annual meeting of China's top legislature, the initiative was highlighted as a priority for the government in the year ahead. Let's take a step back and look at where it all came from. This is Xinhua Special and the Two Sessions. The Belt and Road, or the Silk Road Economic Belt, and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road was proposed by Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2013. Using the Anshung Silk Road as inspiration, she promoted the initiative as one solution to the global deficits in peace, development and governance, and also as one way to bring the world closer to a community of shared future. The initiative has been incorporated into a UN resolution and Secretary General Antonio Guterres praised its potential to support sustainable development. Designed to be inclusive, transparent and mutually beneficial, all projects beneath the initiative must operate within international market rules. The initiative was born out of a desire to support world peace, prosperity, openness, innovation and cultural diversity. It may be made in China, but as it's evolved, it has emerged as one of the most important globally beneficial projects for international cooperation in modern history. Funding has been made available through the Silk Road Fund and the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Within five years, visions have become promises and promises have become projects. The Mombasa-Nairobi Railway and the China-Russia crude oil pipeline, for example, have created jobs and generated growth. More railways will link Hungary with Serbia and China with Laos and Thailand. Power stations will be commissioned across Pakistan to end electricity outages. These projects just scratch the surface of the opportunities under the initiative, and there are now over a hundred countries and international organizations on board. Last year, China's imports from other Belt and Road countries grew by nearly 27%, compared to the 12% increase in the imports overall. China's trade with these countries topped 7.4 billion yuan, just shy of an 18% increase year on year. Expect new features such as the Digital Silk Road, which will offer big data solutions to common social, economic and environmental challenges. And also the Polar Silk Road, which will improve navigation, security and logistics, and also increase exploration of natural resources, fishing and tourism in the Arctic region. Also expect new partners like Central American countries and new projects such as a railway to link Panama with its neighbours. From Asia to Europe, Africa and beyond, this ambitious project looks set to power global development and growth through improved trade, infrastructure, finance, policy and people-to-people -people networks. 
See you next time.